Howdy folks, welcome back to the Taylor Brooks Road of the Show series here on MLB 23 PS5, episode 247. Let's wrap up this regular season uh, with a game against the Toronto Blue Jays, who <laughs> we've seen uh, a thousand times, I'm pretty sure. Decent rotation, uh, Manoa, a good year again. He is still one of the best pitchers alive, um, but... I digress. A 2.89 ERA over 279 games is wild. And he doesn't have the strikeouts. That's the worst part. He's not going to be a Hall of Famer because he doesn't have the strikeouts in this. But the dude, wow, I think Polanco has a better chance than him. He's already at 7.29. Dude had a great year this year. It was a good team. Uh, weaker bullpen, but some guys in the pen that low key can get things done. Um, the lineup's solid. It's really good, actually. Mangum sucks. Uh, Miguel Geraldo's all right, but Vladdy. Austin Meadows, Bobby Bradley, Adley Brutchman is having a year um, that they more so signed him to have. Probably more than this, but better. Angel Molina, Angel Molina is a very, very good talent for them. Um, and he's only going to get better. Or Elvis Martinez and Yu Chang. All right, let's get into this. This is a big game for them because... While we've clinched the division, we're not worried about that. We are worried about keeping our spot at the top, um, which I think we have. Uh, but the Blue Jays are still very much uh, close in this wild card race. So let's go get a dub here. Uh, sweep against the Twins. We are just on fire, dude. What is going on with the Orioles? Let's go fielding in reaction. Holy cow, we've won 10 in a row. That's our lineup on the left. There's on the right. Jimmy Cairo's the pitcher for the Blue Jays. They are up to 88 wins, so I think they have secured a playoff spot. We have a chance to do something really funny here and take it away from them. And welcome into the ballpark. Happy to have you with us. The show has an AL East matchup. It's the Baltimore Orioles and the Toronto Blue Jays. John shall be with you alongside Chris Singleton. So by sweeping line, the Yankees, the Orioles have hurt their playoff chances immensely. Crazy stacked division. Orioles never would have thought this would have been anywhere near a 100 win team. Um, at the beginning of the season in April and August in September, but now, you know, we have a chance if we win our last few games. We've got to win three in a row. Throw it, Taylor. Good play. One down. Just crazy. Crazy hot streak from the Orioles. Hopefully it carries into October. And we can grab a couple wins. All, all we need to do is win three games in the divisional round. And then you move on. You know, you don't... You don't stress about the championship series because you got to win the divisional round first. Taylor's looking for win number 21. Recently hit 100 wins. It'll be probably episode 4... 400, I would say, before we get past that. Good pitch, two down. Maybe 420. Get to 200, I mean. I'm really not speaking well. Says two Orioles at the top of the ERA list. That's him for a strike. Followed by two Mariners. Wonder if the Mariners have hopped back in the playoffs. Cutter got him. Great first inning. For Taylor. Nothing going on in the second. Our last start comes on the road. That's in for a strike at 95. But next start will be at home in Baltimore. All smoked. He's begging. Give me that pitch one more time. A hanging changeup just out in front. Twings and misses. It's a strikeout. Hold the string on the changeup. You'll get to see 
How aggressively Aaron Boone plays Taylor in uh, the future, like playoffs, because in the year that we went to the World Series, we were aggressive. Taylor threw seven games in the postseason. We've secured the one seed in the AL, so we don't really have that much to play for. Other than to hurt the Blue Jays' chance, they have Bregman. In there and it's on one. I kind of forgot that. In there for a strike at the bottom of the zone. Nothing, nothing here in the bottom of the second. And oh. one and two. He wanted that fastball high and tight, looking for a strikeout. Just to place the cutter. Well. That's a bad pitch. Even. Greg making us work here. We're going to give him another slider. He chased it into the second. Beautiful. Another one, two, three. We put a couple on, cannot score anybody. The Orioles are 19th in the league in runs allowed. Or runs scored. But in runs allowed, we are first, and it's not even close. That helps when you've got Taylor, who throws 240 innings in your season. 240? Is that an accurate number? 249. 245. Let's just say 245 innings in your season, and he throws that. Only giving up, you know, that a foul ball, he stays alive. 40 runs or whatever. Is that an accurate number, even? Might be way less than that. Might be like 28. Nah, 35. Okay. I, I was about to say. So, yeah, only giving up 35, 36 runs throughout. 247 innings. That's insane. Those are crazy numbers. And that will help you out a good bit. One two to Dustin. Change up is hit on the ground, played by Vaughn. Oh my gosh! <clears throat> Why is Vaughn making that play? Fifty-three fielding. Interesting. That's a crazy good play though. Two down. Well, K. Dowdy's got some hits off of us in the past. Well, if there's a team we face plenty of times, it's the Blue Jays. This is our, it doesn't say game, but we've thrown 128 innings against them after this K to K. Dowdy. Goodbye. 128 innings now. Seven Ks and nine batters. Jimmy Cairo is delivering for the Jays. First hit of the game. That's unfortunate. Nicky Lopez makes a crazy good play to save a hit. Odd they're sitting Adley and Vladdy. We don't get the call there. Well, Meadows can hit righties. He will here. Lopez can't get to this one. And it's a base knock for Meadows to make it 1-0. Well, that was an important 
more than that in this game. So great job there, stepping up to the challenge. Nice job. Bobby Bradley has stepped up big for this Jays team. I think since they acquired him, I don't think he's always been on this team. I, I lied. Uh, but this dude, Austin Meadows, has really turned his uh, career around here in Toronto. I mean, a great 2021. Then he went to the Tigers, did nothing. And 2023, he was fine. 24, more of the same. Same for 25. Same for 26. And then... In 27, he jumped up to an 8.12 OPS, 8.26, and this year, 9.14. He's put together a uh, pretty freaking solid career. And a big swing there makes it 1-0. Jays. This is a bad pitch. What am I doing? Holy cow, the fielding is out of this world good right now. Two down. Adam Hall never makes an error. Can always trust him. So two down. Again, this game is not applicable to us. This one popped up. I got you, homie. I'll stand in you, but I do have it. We give up one. That's fine. Offense is not on it today. Bregg's playing short. It's been a great career for him, if I'm not mistaken. A 77 overall now, but almost 1,600 hits, 270 home runs, 840 OPS over his career, and a war at 40 on the dot. Really good, uh, really good career. Strike two. Well, Boog, a lot of guys would love to be taken in the first round and second overall, but Alex Bregman seems to have weekly hit and it gets over Nicky Lopez's head. Base not for Bregg. He's always trying to show people that he's the best, and it's translated on both sides of the ball. Yu Chen next up for the Blue Jays. In there for strike one. Next offering is in for a strike. Well, I didn't like those first two pitches down in 0-2 hole. 0-2. Fastball is up and in. Same with Heat. Why not? Fouled it off. Righty delivers. Foul ball still a one and two count. You fouls it off. Slider. Got it. Great. Great pitch. Slider got him for a strike three. Justin Harris next up for the Blue Jays. And that one off the outside edge. That's in there. Next pitch misses. And a count two and one. I gotta find the zone here. Three ball count here. He's been throwing strikes all day. Gotta be ready to hit if you're in the box. Deep. That one ripped. That's back there. Three nothing. He flexes his power with that swing. I had to find the zone and we found a lot of it. And Dustin Harris makes his pay. Yeah, I could tell when that one was hit, that was gone. Bad spot there, and Dustin Harris makes us pay. Get a K right after, but three runs through five innings. This is the worst start we've seen Taylor have in a bit. Thought it was a pretty good pitch. Top of the strike zone. We're seeing more fastballs in that location. Well, I assume Skip's going to let us throw a sixth, and that will be it. And that will end uh, the fifth here. But the Jays get two more. We've got to get our offense going a little bit. We haven't scored anybody. There you go. Okay, thank you. That's all that's going to happen. It's now 3 1. And now for the Jays, Jake Mangum. That's in there. 
Dustin Harris developed to be really good in the Alex series. In this series, he's not a first baseman. He's a left fielder. Um, and he's just all right. Didn't have a good year this year. But, I mean, the potential's still there. I think. That ball's crushed. That gummit, man. Good play by James. One down. Every day during batting practice, these oh, outfielders oh, get about 10 minutes oh, of balls oh, in the gaps. Oh, they practice this, and when the game comes, they make the play out, perfect. One well, one, two, three, and we might get to throw seventh. Meadows oh. in now, takes ball one off the plate. So much power in Meadows bat. Next offering misses, oh, two and oh. Here comes a pitch. RBI single last time. It's a strike anyway. Go after it. Now we'll look down to third. Yes, he did. That's a swing. The two-one. That one is absolutely belted. That's a great pitch, and that ball is smoked. Four to one. Thirty-sixth homer of the year. That's just a good swing. Because that's exactly where I wanted that pitch. And it's 4-1. to one. Joe Ryan comes in. He's been awesome as the long relief guy. But, uh, yeah, that's not that's not ideal. 4-1 to one's your score. Offense really can't get it going today. Just not our day. And we will lose to the Jays, four to one. Five and a third, five in it, or five hits, no walks, four earned, nine Ks. Had the strikeout stuff working, but just a uh, couple of big swings and uh, killed us. But uh, really lucky that this is not a playoff game, and we don't have to worry about anything right now because we are the top seed. Uh, the Blue Jays have clinched the wild card. The Yankees lost three in a row to us, so things are going to get interesting here with them. Oh, no, they're good. It's the Mariners and the Guardians who are tight. And then the Red Sox are only a game away. Strohs and Rays are two games away. But they need, yeah, Strohs and Rays are basically out of it. Let's say Mariners, Guardians, and maybe Sox. So let's follow the Guardian or the Mariners who face the Athletics. Big game with Chance Davis on the mound in Oakland versus Ken Waldachuk, and they won it 2-1. to one. Chance giving them the push they needed. Six innings of one-run ball, and the bullpen was fantastic. Two RBIs from Harry Ford. This lineup's crazy good. You can see... Uh, oh my gosh, they didn't start... They didn't start Gunner. And the Guardians ended up winning their game. Oh, my gosh. It's coming down to the final game for the final playoff spot. How about the Yankees? Did they hold on? Yeah, Yankees won, too. Oh, man. It's a close race. Here we go. Walter Ford versus Gunnar Hoagland. And the Mariners win again. The Orioles have finished the season 97 and 65 and won their division. You will be taking on the winner of the wild card playoff game, which is. Oh my gosh, dude. Wait. Oh! The White Sox lost four in a row to end the year and blow their spot in the playoffs to the Guardians, who win four in a row and backdoor their way into the division win. They win the AL Central. Oh, my gosh. The Orioles lost all three of their final games. That's not a good sign. But that's crazy. So the Guardians, when we win, and the Rangers win their division, uh, riding the tails of like a 9-1 streak at one point there at the end of the year. The wild card teams in the AL are the Jays, Yankees, and Mariners. Jays, Yankees will play each other. Mariners, Guardians will end up seeing each other. 
In the NL, the Braves, don't worry, they're still going to win the NL East. They went over the Nationals by two games. But only an 85 and 77 record. Even worse, the Cardinals went 82 and 80 and won their division by four games. And then the Dodgers won 100 games, 162, and just destroy their division. But we got some playoff teams Nationals, D backs, and Rockies all make it. Three teams, or two teams that aren't great in real life, kind of having a resurgence. I want to check on the Nationals, see if they're anything now. It's not a bad team. It's not a good team. The Rockies aren't very good. They have Zach Veen. Trevor Rogers is all right. Yeah, there's some guys. I see it. Well, let's follow. I want to follow a team in the wild card. I'm going to follow, I think, the Mariners. Because it's the only other Alex teammate. Or, not team teammate. But the only other guy in the Alex Parker series who... Not the Alex Parker series. The only other creative player who made the playoffs. Goodness gracious. Anyways, here's how the brackets line up. We will face either Toronto or New York. But I want to see who wins in these right here. Chance Davis versus Dustin May. And Chance gets the win. Didn't throw great. Gave up four. Four, right? Then give up five. Did he give up five? Yeah, he gave up five. Goodness. Not Chance this day, but the bullpen picks him up. And they get the win. Six to five versus Cleveland. Walter Ford versus Mike Soroka going to Cleveland. Final game. Tommy Mace versus Tanner Bibby. And it goes the Seattle Mariners way. And uh, Toronto will be our team. Of course, it's freaking Toronto, man. The Toronto Blue Jays beat the Yankees 2 0. And then Mariners beat Cleveland 2 1. Nationals beat the Diamondbacks 2 1. And the Cardinals beat the Colorado Rockies 2-1. So, Dodgers are already up a game. Braves are already up a game over there in the NL. We will have the uh, opener here against the Blue Jays with Alec Manoa on the mound. Um, we've got we've got to win that game. Uh, no if ands, buts, or coconuts. Got to win that game. If you like the video, hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. That's it for me. That's Taylor Brooks, episode 247.